To lift off day to day, the Proba 3 will launch from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota at 4.4 p.m. today. It was slated to take place yesterday but was postponed to today after an anomaly was detected. So why exactly is this so exciting? Well, we will tell you. The aim of this mission, which is a double spacecraft mission, is to essentially create solar eclipses on demand. What this will do is help us understand solar dynamics and space weather to a much greater degree. Because solar eclipses usually occur every 18 months on Earth, but these two spacecrafts called the coronagraph and the occulter will create solar eclipses, which will help them study the sun's outer atmosphere. It's a collaboration between ISRO and Europe's space agency and NSIL. My colleague Dharani is now joining us with more details. Dharani, why was the launch delayed yesterday? So the launch was supposed to happen around 4 p.m. yesterday, but just half an hour before the launch, ISRO had told that because of a detection of an anomaly, the launch is getting rescheduled to today, that is, you know, 5th of December around 4.12 p.m. So today the launch will happen around 4.12 p.m from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Kota. This is because at the last minute, they had detected an anomaly which needs fixing. That is why this rescheduling has happened. As far as the mission is concerned, as you rightly said, the spacecraft Proba 3 belongs to the European Space Agency and the Indian Space Research Organization is facilitating the launch of Proba 3 into space with the help of PSLV C-50-9. So, this spacecraft Proba 3 has two main components, that is uh, the coronagraph and occulter. Uh, so at the time of the launch, the coronagraph and the occulter, they'll be launched together in a stacked configuration. But after reaching the initial orbital conditions, uh, these uh, two components, the coronagraph and the occulter, uh, they will start flying 150 meters apart from each other in tandem uh, so that the occulter uh, could block out the solar disk uh, from the uh, sun, uh, thereby allowing uh, the coronagraph uh, to make detailed observations regarding the outer atmosphere of the sun, that is uh, the corona. So this is the whole plan and uh, uh, this 150 uh, uh, meter configuration between the coronagraph and the occulter, uh, this is set to be creating an artificial solar eclipse kind of a phenomenon uh, in space. So this uh, artificial solar eclipse is what uh, will uh, allow the coronagraph uh, to make detailed observations about the outer atmosphere of the sun. Uh, so uh, this is definitely a huge mission as far as uh, uh, the uh, uh, world's uh, attempts to understand uh, you know, uh, the sun is concerned. Uh, let's wait and see how this mission uh, you know, uh, goes forward after the launch happens. But uh, of course, uh, this is also a very key milestone as far as collaboration between uh, the European Space Agency and uh, the Indian Space and such organization is concerned. Uh, this is more like uh, the world's uh, two leading space agencies coming together for a, uh, for a bigger mission, uh, the ISRO and the ESA. Uh, so, in fact, yesterday when we went to Sri Kota, we could see uh, representatives from the European uh, Space Agency being there. Uh, they were in uh, discussions with the uh, officials of the Indian Space Research Organization and both of them, they are working in a uh, great coordination to uh, land this mission a success. Uh, let's wait and see uh, what happens after the, uh, you know, after the launch. But for the time being, the launch will happen around uh, 4, 12 p.m. today from the uh, first launch pad of the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Kota. Also, uh, throw some light on the significance of the, this project and are we all set uh, for the launch today? Well, this project is definitely significant not only for uh, the European Space Agency but also for, uh, you know, for all the people who are interested in space, for everybody who is interested in uh, in a study about sun and other stars uh, because uh, you know as human race we uh, do not have a lot of knowledge about the sun attempts have been made for many decades now to try and understand uh, the uh, sun and how, you know how the atmosphere different layers of the sun's atmosphere work but uh, we are you know not able to get a uh, greater knowledge about it until this moment so uh, this uh, mission that is the proba 3 mission is one attempt one such attempt by the european space agency uh, to study the outer atmosphere of the sun uh, the outer atmosphere atmosphere is called the corona and uh, if this mission becomes a success uh, we will be able to access a uh, great analysis and observations from the outer atmosphere of the sun that is uh, the corona and uh, the Indian uh, space research 
which our administration is helping uh, the ASA launch this particular uh, spacecraft uh, into uh, space. I remember in September 2023, that is last year, uh, India uh, launched its uh, maiden sun mission, that is Aditya L1. Uh, so since India is also trying to uh, take a step forward in its uh, you know attempt to understand the sun by helping ESA in this particular mission, uh, India will also be able to uh, get a good knowledge about uh, the uh, scientific observations and experiments that are involved in this uh, whole uh, process. Uh, so, uh, as I told, this is uh, uh, more like uh, the world's two leading uh, space uh, agencies coming together for a bigger mission to understand the sun better. And, uh, and this uh, Proba 3 mission, this is uh, uh, this has uh, two key components, that is uh, the occulter and the coronagraph. So, uh, the coronagraph is the uh, no major component, the significant component here. Uh, this uh, coronagraph will only uh, observe and analyze uh, the sun's outer layer. So, this is the uh, very key significant component as far as this whole mission is concerned. As far as the job of occulter is concerned. After uh, these two components were put in a space, uh, the occulter will block out the sun's uh, you know, solar disk uh, uh, from the view of the coronagraph. So this will uh, create an artificial solar eclipse kind of a situation. Okay. And this artificial solar eclipse will allow the coronagraph to perform its work precisely to, uh, uh, to get observations uh, with precision. All right, Tarani, thank you for getting us all those uh, details. And we